The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Genius Gila Gaming Mouse. The box looks great with lots of pictures, features, and specifications about the product on it as well. They have a clear window on the front. So if you're picking this up in store, you can kind of get a feel for the size of the mouse because they have a cutout here in an area so you can actually get your hand into. I think that's pretty neat. There are lots of security seals at the top as well as at the bottom and this is great because you know no one else has been inside the box. Now sometimes products like these are a challenge to get out of the box so let's just see here. That wasn't too bad so far. A bag with a number of things in it. I'll check that out in just a second. What else is in this plastic? Top comes right off. And there we have it. Here's the mouse. Weights, which come in this fancy container. Here's the user's manual pre-installation guide, CD, and an extra foot pad set. And if you're wondering what a foot pad set is, well, it just replaces the foot pad set that is on the mouse already. So if this wears out, well, you've got another one. Now, first of all, let me go over the features and specifications. It comes with a nice braided 1.8 meter cable, which has a gold plated connector. It has onboard memory, a rubberized grip design, which feels very, very nice. There's also four levels of backlight brightness, and I'll show you that a little later on. Also, 72 macros in six game profiles, and I'll show you the software in just a bit. It comes with a very impressive 8,200 DPI laser sensor as well. This thing lights up like nobody's business. You've got a number of areas which you can customize, and you can have up to 16 million colors. This area right here two strips here on the back, and the scroll wheel as well. This mouse can be customized when it comes to weight. They include six 4.5 gram weights. They come in this nice case, and you can install them inside of the mouse. Let me just show you how you do that. And you can install none, some, or all of the weights. To do so, just press this button at the back, this pops up. Now you can either keep this in and put the weights in there with this rubber piece installed or you can just take it out and put the weights that you need in there like so and then just put it back in and snap this down. Now when you're installing weights try to keep them even. So if you're installing three put them in this position or maybe in the center whatever you prefer. If you're installing two Keep them on either side. So basically the mouse is kind of balanced. Don't do something like this, for example. This mouse has lots of buttons. There are two on the left, two more here. The scroll wheel doubles as a button, three more at the top and two at the right. And here's the left click, right click, and the scroll wheel. And note how quiet these are. And there are a number of DPI status LEDs. There are two more backlights at the front and note this cable design. It keeps the cable away from the mouse so it doesn't get as tangled as it would on a traditional mouse. At the bottom are three Teflon feet and these should glide over just about any surface with ease and note this fantastic 8200 dpi laser sensor now have a look at the leds and the backlighting on this mouse now i haven't installed the software yet i will in a minute and i'll have a closer look at that and then you can customize a lot of these leds to pretty much any color that you want this is kind of like the default color setup as you can see two leds at the back at the top the scroll wheel, and as well at the front. And note the DPI LEDs. There are five of them, and it kind of gives you an indication where the DPI is. Within the software, you have all kinds of backlight adjustments. You can adjust each individual red, green, blue yourself manually, or you can select from the left. Also, you can select the intensity 
and the pulsation. And all you would do to change one of the lights would be to just select which light or lights you want to change and then you go ahead and change it to whatever color you want. So let's make them all blue. That one, that one, and this one. And voila, they are all blue, but you can change them to pretty much any color that you want. And let's go through some of the other software settings. You've got the assignment of the buttons and uh, you can do pretty much anything that you want to with any of these buttons. You can also load a profile, save a profile. You've got six different profile buttons here at the top. At the bottom right is OK, Cancel and Apply. You can manage macro settings as well. And there is an advanced area for the mouse speed, the double click speed, the scroll speed, the sensitivity, the polling rate, DPI, and so on. The overall build quality, styling, and fit and finish on this mouse is quite good. I think it looks fantastic. It's rubberized, so it's not going to slip out of your hands. And if you have medium-sized hands like I do, it should be very, very comfortable to hold for extended periods. And I think this mouse could be very easily used, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, although there is a bit of a preference for right-handed people because of those thumb buttons that are on the left side of the mouse. If you're a gamer and you're looking for a really cool looking mouse that's loaded with excellent features, well this just might be for you. I am very impressed with this mouse. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.